So yeah, I'll get a little summer. Ooh. That's a good one. What's up, y'all? So we're doing a little backwater fishing today. Um, I haven't recorded any fishing like this in a little while, so I figured I'd bring the GoPro and see what's happening. We already got a little flounder in the boat. I'm not expecting to see much else besides flounders. Maybe some reds today. It's rained a lot. It's really hot. It's the middle of July. Um, it's actually the middle of the day. It's about 2 p.m. right now. It was overcast, but sun burned it all off, so it's probably about 80, probably up to 87 out here now. Um, really hot. Not much of a breeze. I should probably be throwing live bait just because um, there's not much else going on, but I figured it'd be a good Fun little summer day, what's better than some summertime flounder fishing, so let's see what we can do here. So we got a fallen tide right now, so I'm just looking at these little grass points, these little creek openings out into the bigger water where the water is just flowing out. These little oyster beds with deeper edges along them. It's classic flounder territory. I mean, also good stuff to catch trout in, but um, being that it's summertime, I'm not expecting any trout to be here right now. Big old blue crab right there. See him scuttling around. Makes it's cool to see. So a bunch of little pinfish biting. Not much in the uh, look. You can see my see it going crazy. It's all the pinfish. There's one right there. I haven't seen much action today, honestly. Um, which is you know pretty common for a summer day like this. We've had a lot of rain, so there's a lot of fresh water back here in the marsh right now, which makes it. Essentially, it just kind of washes the fish out, especially those, just bite. those deeper saltwater fish. I mean, not deeper, no. larger saltwater fish. They tend to come from more salt, saltier environments, and while they do fine in these brackish conditions, I find that they actually thrive better in a uh, little bit more salt, especially where I am here so far away from the inlet. This water, as you can see, it's not very clear. It's pretty murky. It's pretty muddy and uh, it's pretty, it's a lot of sweet water as they call it around here, what's what they call fresh water. It's a lot of that filtering off from the land and not a lot of salt water coming in from the inlets, so. A lot of trash fish today. I'm pulling my lure apart. Pull the hook out. So I got a nice grass line here, a little bit deeper. Current's fallen, so it's coming this way towards me. So I'm just working this bait with the current, kind of bouncing along some deeper holes. It's really all I'm looking for right now, and along this deeper bank. This time of day and this time of year when it's so hot, the water's 83, 84 degrees back here. It's really hot. Um, you know, almost as hot as the air. You gotta look for that deeper water, a little bit cooler. That is where the fish will be. I think we got a good one here. Just got smacked off of that, uh, that was probably a lizard fish. <laughs> Even better. Angry croaker. You can get some good, I don't know why I even netted him. I'm just gonna plop him in the boat. Really don't need to net for that guy. But yeah, you can catch some decent sized croakers back here. This one is, I mean, in my standards, still pretty small, but like, I mean, bigger than some of the other little guys you'll, you see around commonly. He is all cleated up. Pretty fish though, I mean, hear him croaking. See this bait coming around this corner? Going through this little hole right here, something big just blew up on it in this hole. So let's see if I can drop my lure right through that spot. I like spots like this, a nice current's just kind of flowing out this way. You got a nice cut corner right here. Nice deep hole probably right in here. I need to get some sort of electronics for my setup so I can start actually getting depth measurements and stuff. Oh, you see that? You see that? Eat. Eat, eat, my bait's right there in front of it, and it's not eating it. Eat, eat. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. It looks like a drum. But I'm throwing up along here. So this bait's just pouring down this creek coming out of here, so I think it's not eating my shit because it 
has so much actual fish flying around its face that it doesn't need to mess around with my goofy little lure. Oh, that actually looks like a blue fish. It's got that fin or a jack maybe or something. I don't know what that was. This time of year, there can be anything back here. You can have Jack Revol, you could have Spanish mackerel. I've seen little baby tarpon, ladyfish. I mean, it does not want what I'm throwing here, though. I don't know what that was. I can see it pretty clearly. Almond on that bait there in front of me. It didn't look like a drum, but maybe. I don't like situations like this where it's there's so much bait around and it's clearly keyed in on something very specific but I can't really even tell what it's keyed in on maybe it's a color profile a size of a bait a shrimp for some minnow for some mullet for some menhaden hard to say so, whatever it was it's chasing them shallow Normally, summertime like this, this sort of tide cycle, this is like a mid-low falling. I feel like I would be seeing more um, drum and stuff chasing things up in the shallows. It's really quiet, so I think flushed out a lot of fish back here. Got a good one here. I believe it's a drum, actually. Just basically how it's swimming. It doesn't feel too big, but get a little dry. Drone. He doesn't know he's hooked yet, so we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of this right here. It's a good size one, actually. All right, we gotta take him for a slayer ride, bud. Oh man, he is blowing up. Oh yeah, well, summertime drum action. I didn't set the hook really hard, so I gotta be careful here. I'm also this is like. 15 pound line or something like that. Ooh, whoa. That's a good size guy right there. Oh. Let's see if we can just get him right here right now. Oh man. Because in the summertime like this, slow oxygen water, you don't want to get him. Oh man. He's got some fight left in him. back down current at me and we're gonna lift the rod here here we go to the boat to the boat to the boat to the net to the net oh, he's trying to play with me he's trying to play with me it's a good one it's a good one Especially in the kayak, it's that last second. All right, here we go. This is it. Man, he is smart. He has done this game once or twice. He has done this game before. Every time I lift, he just noses down. It's a good fight, bud. You got a good fight. Don't I stick him, Luke? Don't I stick him? There he goes in the net. Woohoo! Thank you, buddy. That was a heck of a fight right there. Nice. I was worried he might have inhaled that hook, but looks like he didn't, so that's good. There we go. That's a good, healthy upper slot drum. That's beautiful to see. It's probably right around eh, 26, 27. 
go ahead and get this hook out of his mouth here. Oh, that was so easy. Right at 26. Right at 26, so. I could keep him, um, but I don't really like to keep him over 24. They're just such a pretty fish. Fun fight. Let's get him revived and get him out of here. He might blast right off, so we'll see here. Oh yeah. That is a pretty, pretty fish, man. Water is really warm, so make sure he's got a good revival. here for sure I just had a see all these bubbles something big just blew up behind me right here and something swirled next to the kayak too so we'll uh, investigate that here in a sec I'm pretty much almost I think I'm two hours out from low tide but this is pretty low for back here wind has picked up a good bit coming from the south way back up here in the back of a tidal creek it's probably only a foot maybe two feet deep below me um, there's no real holes at this point there are somewhat of a hole like see where this creek comes out and merges with this main one this is what i'm fishing right here there's a bit of a hole there i actually caught it right outside this little tiny creek right there so i'm gonna call it here pretty soon because when the tide gets too low my kayak even can get uh have a tough time getting out of some of these spots. It's really shallow back here, so uh, I should probably uh, head on out here shortly. I accidentally just stopped recording, but I got another good one here. Let's make sure he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. pretty hard still. There's a couple of them around here. I still hear others moving. So that's more your, your classic backwaters drum size. He's probably... Man, he's really lively. Oh, he's only 18. He is right at 19. <laughs> Which that is a that's a nice eating size right there. So I think we keep this guy. Just uh, bleed him. Drum. I always like to bleed him. Thank <laughs> you. 
around 25. That was the last fish though, I mean three slot drum. One, uh, hmm. yeah, the first one was 27, so we'll call it three slot drum. Still, it's good. Anytime you come in the backwaters and you're not just catching puppy drum and croaker, that's a good time. I was thinking it'd be more of a flounder bite today, but when you get on a good summer
if I can get the GoPro to get it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're just working these banks around these oysters. I'm out of the wind over here, so I just wanted to show y'all. See all these ripples on the water, like around this buoy? There's a bunch over there. This is all bait. There's a ton behind me. Right now, since it's low tide, it's really concentrated all the available water for these fish to be in there all in these little schools and these deep pools but yeah this is you know summertime in the marsh it's beautiful grass is very green the skies are that carolina blue water is nice and murky <laughs> but man is it ever warm i want to jump and go swimming right now it feels really nice but so this is kind of taking us back you can see those buildings i don't know if y'all can see them way over there that is the mainland, so I'm up behind a barrier island, almost to the back of the beach, and we're just going to snake our way back out to the main intercoastal. I like that falling tide. Whenever it's a falling tide, I try to get back about as far as I can get back in the marsh, because I find at the high tide, these fish, when there's water in areas, that was a germ right there water in areas that aren't usually holding water they're able to get access to food they don't usually have access to and so they push way back far as they can but yeah it's a cool environment to check out at this time at this tide at high tide obviously the marshes and the estuaries and the bays can be a little bit just they just look like a big old expanse of water with some grass here and there and it's hard to get really much of a, a good idea of what's going on uh, at low tide that really gives you a good chance to see everything and I, I think a lot of people wouldn't agree with me on this but I find it more beautiful at low tide. You get stuff like this, these big cool oyster mounds will show up. You get these awesome mud banks where it's like these cool porous kind of mud that the Spartan is growing in. And you get to watch fun stuff like this. Like croakers blowing up on little mullet all around you. It's an interesting time at low tide.